Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Oh, he just checked in. The genius of the Whitman School of Management at Syracuse University, Dr. Boris Watkins. Happy Mother's Day to you, boys. Ah, uh, well, well, happy Mother's Day to you, brother. Uh, uh, even though neither one of us are mothers, hopefully. Oh, <laughs> hey, and then what's that case? Some guy turned out to be pregnant and was going to be a mom or whatever that strange situation is, but I'm going to yeah, stay away from that. Just for the record, that guy was not me. Okay, it wasn't <laughs> me either. <laughs> so how you doing? God bless the mothers for, for going through that for us because... You know, if men were having babies, there would be no babies. Oh, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? Oh, we would be. We wouldn't have anything to talk about, huh? <laughs> we sure wouldn't. <laughs> Boys, thank God for you and all that you do. You are the real deal. We are so proud of you, man, and all of your efforts, your leadership, and your incredible writings. Man, well, well, thank you, brother. You know, but but honestly, man, I, I, I would not exist without without you. You know, you talk about Mother's Day. Well, every day is Father's Day because people like yourself are like, fathers to me and and your courage and inspiration is what opens the door for people like myself to come through it you know so thank you well dr boris watkins the only thing i can say is man that last piece you hit was right on time man uh you mean the one on bill o'reilly oh that thing was right on time well you know i uh, i felt uh, in terms of that piece where we you know we're talking about going after fox news which is something that i really want to do um, I, I felt like it was time for, for people of color to become empowered against this kind of, of hatred, these lies. You know, when they take a guy like Jeremiah Wright, who I, I know him personally, this man has a 40-year distinguished career as a scholar and as a leader and as a pastor, and you reduce him to a worthless, dirty, unpatriotic hack. I mean, this man was actually in, in the Marines where he served with distinction. Yes. And people who criticize him have never served in the military at all. Never worn the uniform. In fact, uh... The Reverend Jeremiah Wright, in fact, I'm a Wright, so I got a hold up for the Wright family, man. You know, he was going to Virginia Union University at Richmond, Virginia, and dropped out of school to join the United States military. And he was also the medical corpsman taking care of, guess who? President well, Lyndon president, B. Right? Johnson. Yes, he sure did. Took I, care I, I of President that. Lyndon Baines Johnson at Bethesda. National Naval Medical Center and Hospital in Washington, D.C. This beautiful African American pastor that they were looping him and everything. He, and tell her, was he patriotic? Yeah, oh. they, they call him unpatriotic? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh that got my gall on well, this Mother's you, Day. You know, when, when I took that, that letter out, it, it was amazing. I got, I got responses from Father Flager in Chicago, the Reverend Jeremiah Wright himself. I got responses from uh, people from the Obama campaign, and, and it was interesting that when the hundreds of emails came back to just see how common that pain and that anger was toward what Fox News was doing to this election. It's really disgraceful. Well, I tell you, I'm a United States Naval captain and love writing about United States Naval, United States Marine Corps, and United States Coast Guard history, especially in what African Americans have done in the U.S. military. And when I was seeing what they were doing to the Reverend right from chicago and a great marine corps sepper fi marine corps medical navy corpsman i said hold it we gotta get the real story out here now <laughs> and everybody who's blasted them they never worn the uniform of the united states armed forces man exactly they, they treated him like he was osama bin laden or something you oh know? yes and, and that's really sad you know it's, I, I think that in general uh you know th this kind of 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 stuff should not be tolerated. It does, it's not a matter of trampling on their freedom of speech. They can have that, but I think that when you talk about corporate dollars going to support their platform, and these are dollars that we are giving to these corporations, those corporations should be held accountable for supporting this kind of hate on the airwaves. And so that's really where we're aiming our protest. We're actually going to pick out two of Fox's biggest corporate sponsors and go deal with them. You know, they, 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 I hope, hopefully Nancy Cantor will consider that to be scholarship in action, because I do want to go, go for tenure this fall, but I don't think I I'll get it. We haven't tenured a black man in the business school in 120 years. I don't oh, expect to be the don't first. you dare <laughs> even think about it. You are doing an outstanding scholarly job. You have also put us on the map, too. And well, that's what yeah. academia well, you is know, all some about. Some people are happy about that. Some people are. You know, when you talk about race, uh, all the rules kind of change, and I kind of understand that. Well, Dr. Boris Watkins, Dr. Rick Wright, I love you, man. I've been on too, faculty. Thank I've been so in much. higher education a long time, and I'm getting into my mid-60s now, man, and... 
You're talking to a brother who fought in the civil rights struggle, man, of the 1960s, and I was arrested, man, a number of times for simply wanting to buy a hamburger, something to eat, man. Arrested here in the United States of America, and then... When I was finishing up graduate school, man, get was guess what the first thing that happened to me, man, as soon as I was finishing up my master's degree. What's that? Draft notice, man. Oh, wow. In jail about a, a year or so earlier, man, and a year later, man, I'm getting a notice from my wonderful country that I love so much now. <laughs> the United States of America saying, we need you to fight a war, man, and just a wow. few months later, man, here I'm in jail, man. Wow, you know, for, for, for all that we've given this country as black people and, and received so little in return, the last thing you can ever call any of us is unpatriotic. And that's and what really gets especially me. Especially yourself. And we talk about, I'm looking at the Obama campaign calling the young man elitist. <laughs> he just finished <laughs> paying off his student loans, man. Oh, man, oh, they, they yeah. don't know much about Barack Obama. He, elitist is the last thing that he would oh. ever be. Well, Dr. Boyce Watkins, thanks for checking in, man. You got any Mother's Day shout-outs this afternoon? I just want to say hey to to Mama, Momo. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess that's really about it. To all the mothers that are out there, I do believe that that black mothers are the foundation and the backbone of our society. So God bless all of you, even if you're not my mama. God bless you anyway. Okay, Doctor Boris Watkins and Boris, we'll get together real short and have some lunch or something, man. So we can Absolutely. talk, man. Love Absolutely. You. If you still like Chinese food, I am all the way in. I'm ready for it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Dr. Boris Watkins, Syracuse University. Man, Boris is on every television show in America. Big shout out to the Syracuse University Network. Oh, love you, baby. We are getting there. Technologically sophisticated in 2008 from Dr. Rick Wright, Power 106.9 Radio here in Syracuse for the whole world. Love you, baby. Love you. Yeah. Bye-bye. The network reminds you that you, too, may call into Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.